Hi there. Um, really, wow, that is my stomach. Interesting. Really delivering on this, uh, uploading when I feel like it kind of thing. Um, it's been two months and not felt like it, so here we are. Uh, I'm on the Isle of Wight, although currently as I film this I'm not. I'm clearly at home. Um, and I've had a bit of a tidy up before I go away, hence why uh, I've recorded this, sort of. What I've done is I've found, how many have I got? Four, five, six, seven, seven Doctor Who action figures that I've not yet opened and today I'm going to be doing a bit of an unboxing of these seven figures. I'm going to tell you why I got them um, as well, just to vary it a bit so I'm actually talking in this video not just doing some sort of weird ASMR. The ASMR. I like the packaging. Whatever that is. So yeah, let's let's start with uh, this one. This is the Sarah Jane and the Grask figure, and I can't remember whether this appeared in a, uh, a merch update video or not. It appears that I've taken the tape off already to get these out. So, you know, these probably have actually already been out of the box, and I probably at some point meant to do a full review, but there you go. There's Sarah Jane and the Grask. Um, why did I get this set? Well, I wanted a Grask figure, and this set was cheap, and I, I haven't already got this Sarah Jane figure, and I wanted to get some more Sarah Jane figures, so I went for it, and um, eBay is a wonderful thing, although I think I might have a problem uh, with buying just just way too much stuff. So there's there's Sally Ann um, herself. And there is a a a, a Grosk. Um, yeah. And we've also got these tiny parts to lose. So, oh, God. Right, okay. That is the, the Grask's little sh sh shooty thing. And that, that holsters nicely, probably, in, in there. Yep, that's a lovely, lovely holster for him. And uh, Sarah Jane also comes with her f famous thing that she uses once and it's I don't think it's even in this episode her tiny little sci-fi computer shell thing great something else I can eventually lose now I have actually got somewhere where I put all the tiny little things and save them up and that's in this tin this oh, Doctor Who tin and it is absolutely full of stuff. As you can see, it is right to the very top. So we can just chuck that in there. Uh, grass, I'm going to take it out because, you know, it's going to fall out otherwise. Ah, that almost went drastically long. Long? Wrong. Wow. Packaging. Next is uh, Rose and Canine. Why did I get this? It was on sale and I'd never had this set before immediately mucking up everything I do. Can I yeah that'll that'll turn nicely. Now we're on to little little paper fastening things. That's why I've really got the scissors. How the hell am I meant to do that one? So K9 is free. Hooray for K9. There he is. Little little K9 the dog. And woo, that's very brassy. I don't think I've ever had a fresh coat of paint version of K9. I think I've always had the the dodgy worn down version. Never a nice new pristine ultimate K9. So that goes nicely with the Sarah Jane figure. And then we've got Frowning Rose. You shall be free. Half of this you'll lose in the edit. So here is wow literally one piece of arm articulation on Rose. Um but it's it's still a nice looking rose figure. I got this Captain Jack figure in his long coat. And I know what you're thinking. What? You didn't have a Captain Jack? Well, as it happens, yes I did. Um, but he would not stand with a straight leg. In fact, his leg came off originally. Uh, and we had to glue it back on. 
but even then his leg wasn't straight even before we had to glue him his leg wasn't straight um, so he always sort of stood in a sort of martial arts pose most of the time which was really irritating and I found this Captain Jack really cheap in a shop called the Television and Movie Store in uh, a, a city close to me which is called Norwich which you may or may not have heard of uh, it's in Norfolk and I'm not going to digress about anything else but yes he has relatively straight legs that is a win in my books so long as he can stand up without having to look like he's about to karate chop kick that's just something I've made up um, someone in the face then I'm fine with that let you pop Jackie boy Jackie boy also comes with his uh, revolver and that was a IT crowd reference if anybody got that great so there's his little dinky little revolver so there is Captain Yak not a Sparrow Man he's John Barrow Man I got a master figure now I never got this in the packaging uh, I got it second hand from a convention and my version his arm had been glued on so it didn't move uh, either that or it was stuck I tried to move it and it immediately broke on me one or the other the head of my old um, old John Sim figure uh, is going to be used to make a custom figure of the series 10 version because he had the sort of grey white hair um, and all he needs then is to have a, have a beard that's relatively simple do you remember these little plastic metal tie thingies they were great weren't they much better than all this string nonsense look at that you don't get that anymore I used to be able to make all sorts out of them I used to I used to play with figures I used to just like make stuff out of them I think I made a creature out of them once I know for definite that in the uh, action figure adventure uh, even the Dalek killer go and check it out now on Jevwood studios that I used these wires to restrain a, a Dalek creature within uh, the outer what the inner outer wall thing of uh, the the junk TARDIS which made up a set of somewhere I don't know really where that is if I were to go and do a, a, a audio commentary on that episode I'm not sure I would know what most of it is because it's a bit a bit rushed so here is Yon Sim uh, and I quite like this figure even though I didn't really care for the episode the time of the doctor uh, it's an alright episode uh, it's quite a good master story um, there, there are parts of it I absolutely hate like all the laughing uh, and the the master race just sort of sounds like I mean he does sound quite mastery in that in that moment but he shouldn't do because it's clearly all CGI or you could just split the screen up so that it's just John Sim everywhere these three are all part of the uh, the new boxed up versions we have um, Capaldi in his black jumper we have Capaldi in his Rupert bear trousers and we have uh, Eleven in his frock coat. Uh, I'm going to do frock coat first. And the reason I bought this is um, because I wanted uh, another version of this figure. And the reason for that is I was getting sick of the waistcoat and the coat popping out all the time. and wanted to have one pre-glued. I didn't want to have to glue it myself. I wanted somebody else to have to do that and they've even made it out of softer material that is brilliant and I am incredibly happy I got this figure shame that the neck is a little bit loose and there's some oh there's some gappage if you try and twist his head there's the frock coat 11th doctor um, 
and it's all all nicely glued and his coat is softer made of thinner plastic and I'm gonna go and go and grab the old one come here come here no you stay there ten we don't need you so this one's made of similar but you can you can just see the difference between it being glued down so this one's the glued down one and this is the other one uh, differences I think they've slightly upped the amount of purple they've used in this one it's less subtle now um, the boots seem to be relatively the same I would argue that the new one actually looks more like Matt Smith so there's the original there he is there's the new one I think this one looks a less scary they've sort of shut his eyes a little bit this one he's sort of going oh um, but you would when you're about to regenerate wouldn't you what I'm really hoping is that we get a Nardole action figure we already know we're getting a bill action figure I received an email about that today I pre-ordered it in February uh, and they sent me an email today saying yeah that's coming in September to October after saying oh we're out of stock sorry I don't think anybody actually got it I think they put the listing up way too early People bought them up, and then they've had to go, oh, yeah, they're coming out later this year. Yeah, the first wave's already been and gone, and, you know, you can you can look after that. It's a soft sonic screwdriver. This one bends a lot. So you can go in there. I prefer the stiffer sonic screwdriver. Take from that what you will. So this one I bought um, purely out well, for the sake of buying it. What I wanted, and it's the first time I've ever done this, but I now have three figures of a similar nature. Uh, I wanted one for display and one for play. Here we are again. Flipping paper ties. That didn't work at all. It's a little butch then. So there is Capaldi with his clown shoes, and weirdly, <coughs> weirdly. One shoe is very glossy all over, the other one is glossy on one side, and then the gloss stops. You're going to become my shelf one. So if I pop you over there, and we get the new Sonic Screwdriver. And the new Sonic Screwdriver, by the way, if you didn't know, I absolutely adore it. I did actually review the Character Options toy of it. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm a huge fan of it. and. It's just a shame we won't get to see it anymore, but there it is. And it is very firm. So from that what you will. The story behind this one is I was going to do the custom. And everyone's like, oh, what custom's that? And I would have to reply, well, the only custom you can do with this figure is to destroy his trousers. Ouch, that's my thumb. Um, destroy his trousers, just, just remove them from him, and attach a Davros chair uh, to the bottom half of this figure. Now, I never actually got round to buying a Davros, and part of me really doesn't want to take apart this figure because it's so lovely. But I do now have two of them. Now, I was going to do one as display and one as play, but I absolutely hate this outfit of Top Doctor. Um, I think it's not in keeping with his original style doesn't make sense why would he suddenly gain a pair of Rupert Bear trousers from the medieval period and think that that is fitting and that is the end of those so what else is coming up this week well um, I watched uh, a classic episode of Doctor Who not for the well it's the first time I've seen that episode it's not the first time I've watched an episode a classic episode of Doctor Who um, but uh, I'm going to be reviewing Time Flight and saying my seven things about time flight um, some good some bad uh, I have reviewed the entire Capaldi era because that seems to be the thing that everybody's doing uh, and I just want to adjust some of the scores before I do that and see how that goes but I've recently been watching uh, some series 8 so I'll be doing a video on that once I've finished series 8 I have finished watching series 9 again and that is the title of a video coming up this week called Series 9 Again, where I take a second look at Series 9 and um, see if it still holds up. Uh, that's quite an interesting video. And uh, News Through Time is a concept that I've had ready since January and uh, not got round to doing. So 
news through time is also coming and that's going to be a regular um, on this channel so long as I actually want to do it so uh, there we are that is my unboxing of seven action figures uh, seven Doctor Who figures I hope you've enjoyed it and not been like oh my god he's just destroyed mint in packaging action figures because I don't care so thanks for watching and I shall see you next time for something else goodbye go away Still see you. Still see you.